Teenage Genesis uh, was tonight. I didn't watch the whole pay-per-view. In fact, I only watched the first few matches. And I'm glad I didn't watch it all because uh, apparently this pay-per-view was shit. And uh, judging by the first few matches I watched, I would totally agree with that. Um, of course, I don't really want to review this pay-per-view, especially since I didn't watch it. But I will give a few random thoughts um, later on. What I really want to talk about is the fact that Hulk Hogan thinks he can just march right on in to TNA and take away the one thing that made TNA TNA. And that is the six-sided ring. I don't understand his motive with doing this. I don't understand why he thought it would be a good idea to go back to the four-sided ring. I don't see Hogan wrestling that much in TNA. Or maybe he is. To me, terrible, terrible mistake. The fans were chanting in the arena that in the arena tonight saying we want six sides. They hated it. Hogan and Bischoff were trying to do their little promo at the beginning of the pay-per-view and the fans were letting them have it. And I'm so glad that the fans spoke. Maybe it will entice them to go back to the six sides. Of course, it probably won't. Hulk Hogan, fuck you. As for the ramp that was leading up to the ring, I kind of like that. Um, yes, it is very similar to WCW. A lot of the things they are doing is similar to WCW. But I've always liked that long ramp. Well, when WCW had it, they had a lot longer walkway from the stage to the actual ring. Uh, it made for awesome entrances, entrances, in my opinion. Uh, so I kind of dug that. I wasn't too, I wasn't hating on that at all. But the four sides, the four sided ring, guys, come on. The six sides of steel was so awesome. Now we're not going to see that no more. Uh, just, just the, just the damn ring was just cool in general, regardless if it had six sides of steel or not. But, uh, so, we got to see Brian Kendrick, Kendrick, make his TNA debut up against Amazing Red. First match of the night, Amazing Red won. But Brian Kendrick is acting exactly the way he did in, uh, the WWE. No change in attitude, no change in ring attire, no change in shit. So, uh, we're going to get to see a lot of the same old, same old with that guy. Then Tara wins the fucking knockouts title. Wins both of the falls. There wasn't even a third fall. What the fuck are you thinking, TNA? Terrible, terrible fucking booking. There's no sense in that. So... ODB is going to win the title like a week and a half, two weeks ago, and then she's going to lose it? What the hell are you going to do with this title? Just keep flip-flopping it back? I said it once, I'll say it again. Just like the WWE, they treat the titles just like that. Or starting to, at least. We got to see uh, Mr. Anderson... Ken Kennedy, Ken Anderson, whatever you want to call him, make his TNA debut as well. Kind of a cool debut. I liked. Uh, I watched his actual debut on YouTube. I, I didn't actually watch it on the pay-per-view itself. Uh, I kind of liked that. It was kind of cool. I didn't see the match between him and Abyss, but apparently Mr. Kennedy won. Yeah, whatever. That's cool. Mr. Kennedy's still doing the same old WWE shit. Although, uh, for his character, I like it. You know, I, I like his, uh, I like his 
his attitude, his his uh, excitement in the ring. I enjoy that. I enjoy I enjoy his promos. Uh, of course, that he just says his name, but whatever. I enjoy that. Um, let's see what else happened. Oh, Beer Money versus Kevin Nash and Scott Hall. Oh, oh, oh! I'm sorry, Scott Hall couldn't make it, so it was X Pac, Six Pack, Sean Waltman, whatever you want to call him, the One Two Three Jabroni. Uh, but surprising to me, Beer Money wins. I could have swore that it would have been the other way around, but Beer Money wins. Uh, so yeah, Desmond Wolf wins against uh, Elijah Burt, the Pope, whatever you want to call him. I kind of figured that would happen, so cool. Great job with that. Angle and AJ Styles, main event. I hear it was a great match. I didn't see it. But Ric Flair interferes, helps AJ win the title, and AJ makes his heel turn. I don't know if that's a good thing. I haven't watched TNA that long, so I haven't seen AJ Styles as a heel yet. So I'm not going to say that that was a terrible move. But judging by everybody's reaction on YouTube, it was a big fucking mistake. But uh, I'm just going to have to wait and see. Um... Like I said in my predictions video, this pay-per-view uh, wasn't appealing to me whatsoever. And I think it did just that. It didn't appeal to anybody that watched it. I hear it was terrible. Uh, just, you know, Hulk Hogan is, I don't want to say it, but, you know, it's kind of like the start, the beginning of the end, so to speak. But um, we just have to wait and see, you know. The six-sided ring is gone, guys. God damn, that sucks. Excuse my language, but it really does. TNA was so cool because they had that six-sided ring. I know that's one of the main reasons why I started watching them, because they had the six-sided ring. I was like, that is so cool, you know. Uh, so innovative, so unique. So different, you know? <sighs> but, whatever. I'm sure I'm forgetting a lot of things that happened. Oh, oh, Hernandez and Matt Morgan are new TNA Tag Team Champions. Very cool. I'm glad. Uh, the British Invasion had a very nice lengthy title reign. Uh, so it's great to see uh, them have that, of course. But it's also great to see a team like Hernandez and Matt Morgan win because they're very good at what they do. They mesh very well. Yeah, and, and, and AJ Styles. I was happy to see him continue to have the title. Uh, you know, it's good to have long title reigns. With the exception of the TNA Knockouts Championship, you know, that's been flip-flopping like crazy. But regardless, you know, at least the other titles uh, are getting respected uh, title reigns. But, uh, I'm sure I'm missing stuff, but yeah, I just wanted to bitch about the six-sided ring going down the four. It just doesn't make any sense, but uh, that's Hulk Hogan, man. It's the power of Hulkamania running wild through TNA. So what you gonna do, TNA, when Hulk Hogan fucking ruins your company, brother? Peace out. I'm